This is the sixth video in a series intended to help you learn how to use the FamilySearch Research Wiki. In this video, you will be learning how to read genealogy records that have been written in the foreign language of the country that your ancestors came from. This is the URL address for the wiki, which is also listed on the YouTube page in the notes below this video. From the wiki main page, you can go to the main page for any country using this search box. On the main page of any country, you will find this section, Research Tools. Here in the Research Tools sections, you will find many language helps. A word list will show you the words most commonly used in genealogy documents. You may need help learning how to read handwriting, and you will find letter writing guides that help you write letters to priests and offices in the foreign language. You don't have to be fluent in a foreign language in order to use it for genealogy. Most of the vocabulary you need can be found in the genealogical word lists provided on the wiki. In a word list, you will find keywords. Perhaps 90% of the records you read will be composed of just the keywords. Look how short this list is. And here is the example of a general word list which will function as a dictionary to find the other words you come across. In Germanic countries and the Scandinavian countries, there is an old Gothic script that they used, and there are links to excellent lessons that will help you learn to read that script. You may have to learn a special alphabet, such as Cyrillic or the Greek alphabet, and you should have confidence that you can learn that too. After all, you learned one alphabet when you were very young. You can learn another alphabet now. In the course of your research, you may need to write a letter to a foreign country and you'll want to write it in the language of that country. And the wiki has letter writing guides. A typical letter writing guide gives you lots of instructions, including how to send money to that country. It will give you a chart of phrases that you'll want to use in English so you can choose what it is you want to say and then give it to you in the other language. Then it will give you a list of typical genealogical requests that you might want to make, such as asking for a particular record or asking how to make payment arrangements. Now you try it. Find the keywords list for the foreign language of your ancestor's country and begin learning just that little bit of vocabulary that you need to know. Many times in the lessons you will find examples of documents that you can practice reading in that language.